President, Secretary Pompeo was reportedly under investigation both for having staffers do personal errands like walking his dog and picking up his dry cleaning and concerns that he may have subverted the will of Congress with Saudi uh, deals with Saudi arms deals. Uh, are you concerned that, that he may have made this request to avoid uh, inve an investigation? Well, I don't know anything about it. I, I heard about it at the same time. Maybe you heard about it. I don't know anything about it. I mean, you mean he's under investigation because he had somebody walk his dog from the government? I don't know. It doesn't sound... I don't think it sounds like that important. I mean, you have a man that's supposed to be... And he's a brilliant guy, number one at West Point, number one at Harvard, I believe, Harvard Law School, or close. And, but he was number one at West Point, number one at Harvard Law School, or very close to number one. And they're bothered because he's having somebody walk his dog, as you're telling me. I didn't know that. I didn't hear that. I didn't know about an investigation. But this is what you get with the Democrats. Here's a man supposed to be negotiating war and peace with major, major countries, with weaponry like the world has never seen before. And the Democrats and the fake news media, they're interested in a man who's walking their dog. And maybe he's busy. And maybe he's negotiating with Kim Jong-un, okay, about nuclear weapons, so that he'd say, please, could you walk my dog? Do you mind walking my dog? I'm talking to Kim Jong-un, or I'm talking to President Xi about paying us for some of the damage they've caused to the world and to us. Please walk my dog. To who? A Secret Service person or somebody, right? I don't know. I think this country has a long way to go. They, they, the priorities are really screwed up when I read this. Now, I don't know anything about the investigation, but you just tell me about walking a dog and what did you say, doing dishes? Saudi arms deals, sir. What the, Saudi arms deals? Explain. Congress passed, Congress passed a law to restrict uh, sales to Saudi Arabia over certain arms out of yeah. concern over their use in the Yemeni crisis. So the question is whether Secretary Pompeo tried to subvert the, uh, the deal with actions that he may have taken on the I don't deal. think so. I mean, I think that when somebody pays us a fortune for, you know, arms, we should get the deal done. I will tell you that. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I know this, that we have countries that want to buy our arms and we make it so difficult for them that they end up going to Russia and China. And under my administration, if they're friendly countries, I try and make it as easy as possible. If they want to buy our fighter jets and if they want to give us billions and billions of dollars and they have other alternatives, including China, Russia and others, I think we should make it as easy as possible for them and we should take the jobs and take the money because it's billions of dollars. And in past administrations, they waited so long that people wouldn't even want to do business with us. And one of the things that we've done, and we make the greatest equipment in the world by far, and especially now under this administration, because we've upped the scale a lot, as you know, and we've bought a lot. We've totally rearmed our military, $1.5 trillion. But uh, if somebody wants to give us billions of dollars to buy an airplane, or a number of airplanes and missiles and all of the other things that we make better than anybody in the world, we should take the money and we should make the deals fast. I would certainly say that. Even if it, it leads to human rights. Why don't you take your mask off? I, you know, you, just for a second, please. Don't worry about Jeff. Jeff, why don't you move out of his way so he doesn't infect you, please? Sure. I don't even want if you it, to become infected. Even if it results in human rights abuses, that was Congress's concern with these Human rights? Abuses. I don't know. That I don't know. I mean, you know, you tell me something that I never heard of. Now you're talking about human rights abuses. Well, you'll figure something out, I'm sure. Look. He's a high-quality person, Mike. He's a very high-quality, he's a very brilliant guy. And now I have you uh, telling me about dog walking, washing dishes. And you know what? I'd rather have him on the phone with some world leader than have him wash dishes because maybe his wife isn't there or his kids are there. You know, what are you telling me? It's terrible. It's so stupid. You know how stupid that sounds to the world? Unbelievable.